Here we go, 7.4 isomers. Now, a key thing to remember in organic chemistry is the existence of structural isomers. And the best way to get questions about these right is just simply being careful and paying close attention. So an isomer is something that has the same molecular formula, but different structural formula. So it has the same numbers of carbons and hydrogens, but they're just arranged differently. Now, there's three ways to make an isomer. You can make a branch, move a branch, or move a multiple bond. So here's three different examples of isomers. Okay, and these all look very different. But let's see, how many carbons does each of them have? One, two, three, four, five carbons, so C5. One, two, three, four, five, 10, 11, 12, H12. All right, what about here? One, two, three, four, five carbons, C5. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 hydrogens. How many carbons? One, two, three, four, five, C5, H1, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So if we simply just wrote the molecular formula, these will all be the same, but when we look at them, they look different. They're actually going to behave differently, too. And so this is basic pentane. Here, if we count the longest chain, one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, and it's got one methyl group on carbon number two. So this is going to be two methyl butane. And here we have the longest chain of three, so it's propane. And on carbon number one, two, three, there is one methyl group, two methyl groups. So we have two, two dimethyl propane. A same molecular formula, different structural formula. So they give us different names. Okay, don't be fooled. What looks like an isomer may not be. Atoms can rotate as much as they like around single bonds. And sometimes what looks like an isomer might just be spun around. So these two, at first glance, look like they might be isomers of each other. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4, C, 4, H, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, C, 4, H, 10. Let's see what the name is. 1, 2, 3, 4. So there's 4, butane. And it's just butane because there's no side chains. What about here? One, two, three, four, with no side chains. So instead of going straight, this one just makes a little turn. And it's perfectly fine. It's allowed to do that. All right, so chain isomers are going to have similar chemical properties. Okay. But physical properties, like the boiling point, can differ. And it depends on the shape due to dispersion forces. Remember, larger molecules are going to have stronger dispersion forces, which just means that then smaller molecules will have weaker dispersion forces, LDFs. All right, nice and short. Oops, sorry. What is the definition of an isomer? And then you're, you're going to have to tell me, are these isomers of one another? Why or why not? That brings us to the end of 7.4. I will see you guys in.